Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending today. My name is Ben Coyle. Uh, each month since the beginning of the year, we have been focusing on residential lighting in some aspect, whether that's talking about concepts from a residential lighting standpoint or the products that we offer here at RAB. Today is uh, that day that uh, for June, we're going to be talking about multifamily residential. I have a couple of the friends here on the line that are going to introduce themselves. Bob, who are you? Hello, I'm Bob Henderson, uh, broadcasting from Raleigh, North Carolina. So I'm looking forward to the middle of the week. Why? Because the temperature is going to go down, the humidity is going to go down. And that means hitting golf balls. So looking forward to that. So Donald, how about you? Hi, I'm uh, Don Andrews. I'm a lighting design studio manager here at RAB, uh, working in the lighting design department. And um, that's all I got for now. Uh, here's Colleen. <laughs> Thank you. I am Colleen McLaughlin. You guys know me now. Um, I am the marketing manager. I've been with RAB for seven years. Um, we are continuing our June monthly giveaway. We do Amazon $100 e-gift cards every month. This was week three of four. Today's code word for your follow-up survey is going to be family. So make sure when you get your follow-up email, type in the word family as your code word. That'll count as one entry into this monthly's drawing. And I'm also going to be doing Q&A today. So if you have any questions about anything discussed throughout the presentation, feel free to type it into the question box and we will get back to you at the end. Excellent. Okay, so as we've been doing these webinars, I think we've mentioned multiple times how many we've done. I think we're at 40 or 57 right now. Uh, not 57 weeks, but 57 different webinars. It seems as though uh, the natural progression of these webinars is uh, we develop these webinars in like groups of three, like there's three main topics and it just seems to just come out that way. So what I have for you today is I'm gonna be helping you understand where you can go from a RAB standpoint to find resources on multifamily lighting and specifically uh, what RAB has to offer. Donald is actually on the uh, hook today. We're gonna actually have an interview with him. Uh, we're gonna take the PowerPoint, turn the PowerPoint off and just have a conversation back and forth uh, due to the fact that he is part of the lighting design group here at RAB. And the last piece of the puzzle that we have here for our learning objectives or what we want you to take away is at the end, we're gonna be talking about a little bit about lighting concepts and also about products that are available from a multifamily residential standpoint. So that's where we're gonna go uh, to that point. And uh, yeah, we actually have a variety of vertical marketing brochures. Uh, we've recently updated a few and we've added a few, one that's specifically for the single family home. But what's uh, I think would be much more beneficial. A lot of times we show you guys screenshots of different things. I'm actually gonna close uh, the PowerPoint down and I'm going to go directly to the web. Oh, actually it's right there, it was already up. So we have two different places where you can go to find some resources that are available for, from RAB about vertical marketing brochures. Now here on drive.rabweb.com, you can also put in drive.rablighting.com. It'll take you to the same exact location. Uh, we can see here that we have a bunch of different vertical marketing brochures, a bunch of uh, marketing literature, all in PDF format. So we can actually go over here to the left and click on uh, the vertical marketing brochures to actually find right here our multifamily residential brochure, about 28 pages long. And what happens with these brochures, especially here in RAB Drive, if you click on the, the image, if you notice when it first popped up, it kind of flashed orange uh, or red, that tells you that you can actually click on that and take it take you to the marketing brochure that's on rablighting.com. So if I click on this, what it's going to do is it's going to take me directly to our website where we have a whole entire page that addresses multifamily residential lighting. As I scroll down, we can see that we have case studies that you can click. You can actually download the PDF brochure from rablighting.com if you want to, um, or you could download it from Rab Drive. Um, now, as we get down here to this uh, kind of like isometric view 
of, of an example. If I click over the parking lot, we can see that parking lot lights are gonna pop up of uh, different things that you could potentially use uh, to light that parking lot. And as I poke around these different locations, kitchen, I have living room area, pathway landscape, facade lighting, uh, bed and bath. And as we go to these different spots, we can actually click on a specific product and it will take us to that uh, product that's actually on our website. So I click there on the Lot Blaster and it will take me directly to the landing page for that specific product. And that's how the uh, different products, the different uh, PDFs, the different uh, documents within Rab Drive and also on uh, rablighting.com. So I'm gonna actually move back to my PowerPoint. Maybe. Oh, then I need to go over here. There we go. So drive, rablighting.com, nice uh, brochure that shows off uh, all the products that could potentially be used in a multifamily residential. So we have here uh, with us, Donald Andrews. Donald Andrews has actually been a guest speaker with Bob and myself multiple times. He is a RAB lighting design studio manager. He has 36 years worth of lighting design experience. And uh, Donald, if I remember right, you've been with RAB 12, 13 years? Is that is that about ten, right? 10 years. 10 years, 10 Start, years of experience. Started in 2011. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Okay, so Donald, with the fact that you're in this lighting design group where you're getting lots of different projects, like you're getting uh, office projects, you're getting a lot of snooker ball, is that what it is? Or like, what's the, what's that popular? Um, Pickleball? Tennis? What's that? You're, you're talking about pickleball? Pickleball, that's what. Yeah, you get an inordinate number of pickleball uh, designs that come across your desk, but you do get multifamily residential designs across your desk. Um, Absolutely. What kind of projects do you actually see? Uh, we get a fair amount, uh, apartment buildings, condos, uh, et cetera. Um, I get a lot personally of um, projects in the Boston area, subsidized housing type projects. Um, I have one contractor that I work with a lot and uh, actually started, been working with him for 10 years now. Uh, it's been a very good relationship. Um, he's uh, working on improving all their energy consumption, and so he's going through and uh, retrofitting out with a lot of RAB products. Okay, so I hear you say uh, energy efficiency, and you know energy efficiency is important. Is are there other goals that this uh, contractor has besides just energy efficiency? Um, actually, yes, <clears throat> they. Um... You know, they're going through and they're replacing a lot of uh, broken fixtures, a lot of HID fixtures, a lot of, um, you know, things that have just aged out. And so in the process of doing the improvements, um, you know, not only are they improving their energy efficiency, but they're also improving light levels. Um, they're addressing concerns that the uh, tenants have or the uh, building owners have for glare and other things, relocating fixtures to, you know, get troublesome ones out of the way and that type of thing. So it's more than just, oh, gee, we're trying to save you energy. It's a wholesale improvement uh, up upgrade. Excellent. So this uh, retrofit contractor who is replacing these different products, um, sometimes he has an idea for a product and sometimes you have an idea for a product. Can you explain how you go about proposing and working with this contractor on how to come up with the best solution for the scenario? Sure. Well, one of the things that's important to know here is with all of our clients, um, I have found that if you listen carefully to what they're talking about, they will tell you essentially what fixtures they're interested in, what they're looking for. And every time where I've jumped the gun and said, oh, well, you want to use this fixture, 
I've always missed the mark because I missed some important key detail that they're going to tell. So in this case, he goes out, he does a site survey, he sends me a markup with what all the existing fixtures are, and then often with a suggestion of what he's thinking. And I'll look through it and I'll say, well, maybe you could do better with another fixture or whatever. We have a conversation, we go back and forth a little bit, make sure we're on the same page. And maybe my suggestion, maybe his, it all the, it comes down to what makes the project work the best. Um, and so we kind of hammer that out once in a while. I'll send some of that out and he'll come back and say, eh, maybe we can tweak it a little this way or that way, whatever. But um, it's a collaborative situation. Okay, with the fact that we actually have uh, quite a few products that uh, fit into the economy or in the standard or in the premium category, does this contractor trend to go to one level of product over another? Because there is a balance between performance, quality, and price or cost. Um, can you give us an idea of this contractor on uh, where does he go? Does he always like I want the cheapest one, and then you have to convince him, like, you want a better performance one, or do, are you like, uh, is he always looking for the better performance one? You're like, oh, that's overkill. You don't need that one. Help give us an idea of, of how he sits in terms of this good, better, best strategy that we have. So it's interesting because in many cases, you'll have people that come in, they're simply looking for price. Uh, in his instance, you know he's going in and he's establishing relationship with these uh with the owners of these uh facilities and his he's hanging his reputation on the line so that's why he comes to us he's looking for good quality fixtures he's looking for the you know the maximum warranty he's looking for excellent performance and of course he's looking for a good price but the price is not the number one leading indicator uh, he really wants a good design with good quality fixtures that is going to last. Um, and I think the, um, you know, the one instance I did recently, I specified an economy fixture simply because we were, um, it fit the distribution requirements. And he came back and he said, yeah, but I don't want to mix that with all the other fixtures and have two different warranties. I want everything to be you know, the same length of life and to be long life. So he had me switch it out for a more premium product. Excellent. Thank you. Bob, you have some questions for Donald also, right? I do. So, Donald, you keep up with the uh, area of Jersey and the surrounding Northeast area, but you also have requests from nationally. So uh, things have been changing. Uh, and uh, so the markets have changed and so forth. And so over the last uh, maybe three years, I mean, what, what have you seen uh, to change? Well, I'd say locally, the biggest thing that I've seen is, and, and you know, obviously, you know, we're outside of New York City uh, a bit, is a lot of people in the last year and a half have been really trying to get out of the, the heavily urbanized areas and move out further. Um, a, they're looking for uh, less expensive housing. They're looking for a little bit more separation uh, from people. Um, and they're coming out, um, you know, buying up a lot of uh, places, um, whether it's single family homes or multifamily homes or whatever, they're really just trying to get out. And, you know, I think that the fact that they can now work from home in a lot of places and they don't want to be as tied to the restrictions that are going on in the city, um, that's kind of driving that. Um, so we've seen a huge demand in uh, um, the real estate market is just going through the roof. Um, and my guess is, is that you probably would see this replicated nationally. Um, people moving out from urban centers and getting more, um, uh, you know, getting just a little bit away from it all. As a building on what you just told us, uh, the word home uh, really has been broadened maybe. Uh, it could, uh, so a home could be an apartment, uh, it could be a condo, uh, could be a, a single family, large home, could be detached. Uh, of course, as, as you said, there's movement, you know, out of this. So, um, so what do you, what do you see uh, as far as your work, as far as this sort of a thing, uh, not only movement out of the city, but what about the shifting to different forms of a home? Um, I think that you'll find that a lot of people want a single family home, but not everybody 
can. Um, some people just aren't equipped to become homeowners. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that become your responsibility that were always handled by someone else. And, um, you know, plus there's the competition for single family homes, just trying to get into them. And so you may end up in a condo or an apartment or something simply because that fits your lifestyle better. It's just that it's a better location than where you were. Um, but either way, there's I think the the max the mass migration, if you will, um, is creating a a new demand, uh, particularly in lighting. So with that, what what has Rab done to adjust to these changes? Well, you know we're like I said, we're seeing a lot of demand for more security lighting because oh gee, I was living in a very well lit. Uh, urban area and now I'm you know more out in the country and gee I'd, I'd really like some more security lighting because I don't feel safe so we're seeing a lot of requests for that plus just the fact that you're moving moving into new places whether it's a contractor who is freshening up a place for you or whether you're doing it yourself or whatever um, because of the mass migration there's a whole lot more demand for just lighting upgrades and RAB is in the forefront of, front of that. For outdoor stuff, we have the Fern, the, the family, we have the Leslie, the X17, the X34. We have a number of uh, reasonably priced products for outdoor landscaping and outdoor lighting in general. And then we also have a huge selection of indoor retrofit lights. Um, one of the key uh, components of our indoor uh, lights is high CRI, um, not required everywhere in the country, but certainly something that people appreciate is, you know, we went from having no um, no real re, uh, light bulbs or interior lighting to having just, you know, probably one of the strongest um, palettes of uh, indoor lighting that you could see in most manufacturers. So we really have um, expanded our capabilities here. We've really expanded our, our palette or selection of fixtures um, so that we can cover most of your interior needs and exterior needs. Well, that, that kind of opens up the next door to my question, which would be, what, have, what are you doing personally or what, what changes have you made uh, as a result of the product changes and additions that RAB has made uh, as you consult or you do your designs, uh, what do you see? Um, we projected an increase in residential lighting requests, and we've seen that happening. Um, so in preparing for that, uh, we have been working on increasing our um, application templates on our website to uh, include more residential designs um, so you can just go download a you know a typical design um, right off the shelf basically and if nothing even if it doesn't fully fit your application it will certainly give you an idea of performance of fixtures um, we've also been working on typical spacing guides for interiors such as kitchens bathrooms etc um, another thing that we did is we actually um, did an in-house training we brought in an outside lighting design consultant to kind of work with our whole department and enhance everybody's interior design skills um, just to kind of get us ready for um, the onslaught and i think it's made a major impact so as we finish out the today we're talking about products uh, and so forth plus all the things you've shared with us what what are the two main things you would love to see us take away as we attend this webinar. Mm. Um, we have a very broad palette of uh, fixtures uh, for both interior and exterior for your multifamily residential project projects, and that our lighting design has a lot of experience with these type of projects, and we're here to assist. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to give you something that you're more satisfied with than uh, if you were going it on your own. Uh, RAB likes to stand behind our customers. We like to support them. And I think that our lighting design service is, it's a free service that we offer to our customers and it is second to none. It is, it is literally one of the best design services out there and uh, we're quite proud of it. Well, excellent. Well, 
thanks for visiting with us and uh, answering all those questions. We want to go through a few more things here, and then we'll come back for our Q&A. So let's move into the facade and building mounted uh, lighting. We're going to cover a little bit of this. So when we talk about this, we're talking about safety and security. Uh, the activity levels vary, so forth. And then you also could have some lighting zones uh, defined by the, the IES and the IDA. Uh, so uh, as we move forward, let's see, see if I can get uh, the mouse here so I can move forward. So. So, so with building mounted, um, we have a bunch of different solutions, right? We have, uh, yeah. if, if any of you have seen some of our webinars in the past, we have quite a few building mounted, a uh, ton of wall packs, eight or nine different families of wall packs that we have available to us. Yeah. And as we look at all these different wall packs that are down below, we can see that you can actually take a wall pack and put a lamp inside of it. We have our Ultra Economy W17, couple different versions of the Brisk, uh, some standard products with the tall pack or the slim, and some other products uh, like the uh, Intra, the WP123, and the WP LED. Specifically, the ones I wanted to focus on are some of the lower light output, the lower wattage wall packs, which are great for those multi-residential spaces um, where you're putting a light at the entrance or the exit of a building in uh, the areas that need that light. So we have the SLIM and the WP family. The ones that I'm focusing on here are the SLIM 12, 18, and 26. We also have the WP 10, 13, the 18, and the 26. Now these guys, these, these three pictures that you see here have low glare, um, low vertical light with no up light. The light is shining down. These are all designed to be international dark sky friendly uh, with low glare. We also have other wall packs. It just depends upon where you're actually installing these. Uh, you may want a glass, uh, a traditional looking or glass pack version. We actually have quite a few of those uh, between the uh, 23 watt A17, the W34, the Brisk, or sorry, the WP1 in the small package size, um, the Brisk in the small package, and then the tall pack. These are all, uh, lights that you could use that shine the light out as well as down. Uh, you have two different versions here of the ones. The one, the three on the left there are ones that are what I would consider landscape mode. So they're rectangular, but they're rectangular in the fact that they are wider than they are tall. And then we have the brisk and the tall pack, which are more of a portrait looking. So you rotate them sideways and they're taller than they are wide. So depending upon the look that you want, depending upon the location on the building that you're installing these, you may have great applications for using these traditional looking wall packs across the bottom. If it's an entrance to a building, I would most likely, I love the Slim 12. I think the Slim 12 works great at uh, you know the back door of an apartment complex. You put that W, uh, sorry, the Slim 12, and it works out well. When we talk about area lighting, area lighting has a couple of different pieces to it. Uh, we want to make sure that we're safe and secure. We have different activity levels. Um, we have just recently added to our area family of products. Uh, the new one, the new kit on the block happens to be the A17, and I'm actually going to show it to you right now. Sitting right here. So this is our new family of products uh, called the A17. The one that I'm actually holding in my hand is the XFU. It's adjustable in terms of light output. It's adjustable in terms of color. It has a universal pole mount that's actually adjustable to ensure that the product actually sits level to the ground to reduce light trespass, light pollution, and also to reduce glare. It also have a set, has a seven pin receptacle. So the A17 is a great product. You have dedicated models, and you also have this model here that is fully adjustable uh, in four different aspects. What's great about the A17, the A17 actually has seven light outputs. The efficacy is awesome, so much so that uh, when we look at our competition, we actually do, uh, uh, our 240 watt can actually replace our competition's 280 and maybe even 290 watt version. So with that, I'm actually going to turn it over to Bob, and he's going to bring us home.
Okay, Ben, thank you. Uh, so yes, let's talk about the common areas. So very important for navigation, being friendly and so forth. So uh, as we go into this, we've got a lot of different products that we could use. Anything over there on the economy side from the down lights and the wafer uh, to the how, which is the sconce. And then you see the Skeet XL, kind of our mushroom light. Uh, and then our easy pan flat panel. The tread safe is a stairwell light in and of itself. And then the gus. So what we want to focus on is, and talk a little bit about today is the how. I, I love this fixture. In fact, I have one in the stairwell of my home. Uh, exactly, it does a great job up light, down light, out lighting, and it, it, just a lot of things that are uh, part of this. There's two different uh, lumen outputs. Uh, if you use the standard lens, you really the lower one is generally fine. If you get into some of the decorative lens that are more opaque, then it's really a good idea to go up to the to the 1800 lumen uh, from the 1000 watt lumen. So uh, this is a, a favorite of mine. And it's especially very good for stairwells as well as uh, open ceilings, uh, lower ceilings, I should say. And maybe then the private residence. Remember what we said earlier. So a private residence could actually today in our multifamily could be an apartment. Uh, it could be detached uh, homes very close together. It could be a condo. It could be a, or just an actual, actual private residence. So there's a lot of preferences go into this sometimes. Uh, you build it and can finish it out, make make a, a selection. A lot of different choices, everything from the lamps. There's a little disc that fits directly on the ceiling J box, down lights. There's, there's a Gus or Junior wrap, which is kind of like a typical back of the house light, look like a fluorescent light, but it's LED. And then we have our two inch, which is one of the first interior products that Rab came out with. The small little two inches, very architecturally pleasing. And then the Nook, and we have gone to an FA, field adjustable version now. So you can buy it uh, and decide when you uh, put it up, what actually light output and color temperature that you want. And then also our, our mushroom light. We're gonna focus on the wafer here for a minute. And there's two, three different versions. I'm just gonna show you the one version today, but the one, you have a smooth edge lit, and you have an edge lit baffle, and then you have a deep regress. So you really can't see it too well uh, with this slide, but I'm gonna show this and hold this up right here. So you see this little uh, deep regress that you see here. And this is uh, not offered by hardly anyone but RAB. I, I don't know if there's someone out there that may offer this, but this is the hit. This is what everybody wants because it doesn't look like a downlight, it doesn't look like a wafer. It's kind of an in-between with these little baffles. So um, that's just a, something that you might want to check into. Uh, just a great little option for for the uh, being able to do provide this. And this also has a remote box uh, as well. So you see this little box. This connects to the fixture. And so you don't have to have a downlight to fit into. It, if you have a hole in the ceiling, it fits in very nicely. All right, now let's uh, go to our <clears throat> a private residence here where you have a lot of different options here. And so let's see, we'll click that forward here. I think we just presented that slide. And let's go to the next one. Now we're going over into to the gym, the facilities area. So. <clears throat> Very common with multifamily facilities, uh, anywhere from laundry, storage, fitness, multipurpose, whatever. And so uh, let's just zero in on this. A lot of different options that you see. One of the new ones here is a seal, which is a kind of a typical kind of a wash down fixture. You may may see that in there. And then you see some some additional troughers added in, the T34 and the Easy Pan. And you see a strip. So the actual strip could be, depending on the particular area, like a laundry or whatever, it could go in there. Let's zero in and see what we're going to focus on. This is the T34. This particular troffer is backlit. And you see it's offered in 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000 color temperature. Uh, and uh, different wattages are available, 2 by 4 as well as 2 by 2 And what this does is it has a lot of the 
features of the more uh, standard type products, but it comes at a really super economical price. So what I call the power buy. So this is a, really a good option. So as we finish out our learning objectives that Ben went over is, you can see RAB has resources to know which products should be used on multifamily residential job. You heard about Donald's presentation, lighting design, and a lot of people uh, at RAB have the knowledge and expertise to help. Our lighting design department can help guide you through the process, whether it's a full design or whether it's just calling just to get some advice. And of course, that's free. And then last is, is everybody likes to have a fresh look. So the example of this baffle with the wafer is an example of this uh, fresh look with a cool impression. So next week, we're going to have uh, RAB floodlights and spotlights. One of the things everybody wants to know and they hate to see is use the wrong, wrong fixture in the wrong place. You use a floodlight where you need it a spot and vice versa. We're going to explore all this next week. So I'd like to thank you for attending today. This was right on the 30 minute mark.